Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid with the headlines of this hour. In Afghanistan, the government says 261 civilians have been killed in attacks carried out by the Taliban in the last 50 days. According to the Interior Ministry, the group conducted roughly 2,000 attacks during the said period. The Taliban have denied involvement in civilian casualties. Pakistan has rejected Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's remarks blaming Islamabad for last year's attack in the Pulwama district of occupied Kashmir. In a statement, the Foreign Office said the BJP leadership used the attack for electoral gains. It said the Indian government blames Pakistan to cover its own failures and shortcomings. In Pakistan, security forces have killed a high-value terrorist during a raid on a militant hideout in the southwestern province of Balochistan. The military's media wing said the deceased was responsible for the killing of innocent civilians and several attacks on security forces. It said a soldier has also been wounded during the exchange of fire. In occupied Kashmir, a general strike is being observed to protest new laws that allows Indians to buy land in the region. Hoyat leaders and other politicians have rejected the Indian attempt to change the demography of Kashmir. The occupied valley has been under a strict curfew since New Delhi revoked its autonomy in August last year. The COVID-19 infection tally in the United States has stopped 9 million with more than 229,000 deaths. India has recorded 551 deaths and over 48,000 cases overnight as the country's case load crosses 8 million. In Pakistan, 11 people have lost their lives to the virus with the death toll exceeding 6,800. While globally, coronavirus has claimed over 1.18 million lives and infected more than 45.4 million people. That's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Coming up next on Indus News is Coffee Table. Stay tuned.